Just recently got my hands on the Mackie DLZ creator, the Onyx Mike Prees in here, which is fascinating. I have a few interfaces that has Onyx Prees in there. I obviously already opened it. But yeah, I'm going to show you the box. This is not going to be a normal review or overview or yeah, but you know, we're just doing this Bcash talking about this because this is a, a significant piece in this industry right now. Let me put this box down. It's very significant for what I do on the stream, showing you guys music production coming from a separate computer into a dedicated computer. So I have a dedicated computer that is running interface, the video feeds, and the switcher for everything that I do. So this is what I was doing before in terms of audio. I don't know if you guys seen the re a review of me of uh, talking about this here. This is the Phoenix, the PTX 15. This is a analog unit here and is a rather cheap unit. But it's decent for what it does. It has Bluetooth capability, so you can plug in USB or Bluetooth to it. So it's it's, it's kind of cool. Small mixer. It has mic four mic pre's on here. I'm not sure who who you know who who did their pre's, but uh, the way I was connected was I had my mic coming in one, and then I had my audio from my computer coming in three and four. So on my interface, I'm using the Personas 192 mobile and I am able to route things through there. So I had, that was my situation route through here. This was my left and right. And this was the all here. So the, all of this made it's a part of the, the signal, right? And then I was going through this here which is probably still connected. Let me disconnect this here. This is the Audio 6, the complete Audio 6 here. It's a little dusty or whatever, but I was using this interface coming out of this, this thing right here into here, left and right, right? There's another second source. And the reason why I was doing that was because this is digital. This was how my computer was able to see the audio and I had my headphones plugged into there so I can monitor the audio and, you know, things were pretty good. The only thing about that is that on here, because this is analog, there's a, a lot of noise floor that comes through. So you can't bump this too high. So I had to finesse the volume and get it right so that it won't you know to eliminate much of the of the stuff we don't want to hear right so that's the that's the deal so two different audio sources and then going through my computer to to see the audio or whatever um that's not idea and i so i was looking for other means to eliminate a bunch of gear you know doing it this way and just something that's made for what we do. So nowadays we, you know, there's a lot of podcasting that, that are, that are birthing and it's a lot of YouTube or just videos in general, people going live a lot. And there's a lot of zoom calls, you know, there's a lot of thing there, you know, cloud based or virtual type scenarios that are happening more, more so today. And so, I, I looked at the Rodecaster by Road and some other ones, and I almost went and got them, you know, especially the price point was pretty nice. This one is a little bit more expensive, but I went ahead and, and, and got it anyway because of what it does. And, you know, it just kind of fits what I'm doing. So this is what it is sitting here on the side. Um, it's, it's got elevated screen. Just look at the screen. I just felt like the screen just kind of did it. It did it for me for, you know, what I need it for. It is a little bit on the, the beefy side in, in terms of size. 
you know, I'm always interested in things that are smaller that I can just, you know, it's better. I can fit it on my desk better because it's smaller, but I, I, I do appreciate the size. I'm not going to lie. So I, I have to make room for it, you know? So, so basically I have my white, my, my mic one coming in through this one and then the other three, there's nothing coming in, but you know, they're, they're ready for me to, you know, punch anything through them. And then the five and six is where my music, this is where my, my computer is routed to here. And then seven, eight is kind of like a return, but I could change the inputs on it. So it's return of the computer that I'm streaming from when I'm playing videos or like whatever I'm recording, like this video, I'm probably going to play it back, do some editing. And this is going to be the volume for that. And the, this one has mix and minus technology on it, which means that I can choose to not have this audio from the computer go right back in to the computer. And this works for like, if I'm doing a zoom call or, you know, interviews and whatnot, and this, this avoid them hearing themselves back to eliminate that loop. You know what I mean? That feedback loop. So, this thing right here, I just feel like this this situation, the technology, it is made for us that are doing the Zoom calls or doing the streams and podcasts and things like that. This this handles that. This thing also has the ability to record straight into the unit. Just plug in a a a card in the back, and you can do it through regular USB A or put a SD card in the back and it can record onto it. So you don't really have to use. So this thing is, it pretty much just checks all of the boxes for me and I could take it and travel and, and do some recording with it. You know what I mean? It just use the, the drive, you know, whatever you connect to it. And like I said, you don't have to be connected to a computer. So it records on to the thing. You know what I mean? Which is pretty cool. And then, I will be taking advantage of these pads. There's four banks so far on here and there is six pads in front of you, you know, at the touch immediately. But, you know, like I said, you can switch between the four, four different banks or whatever. You know, I'm just thinking, you know, maybe to spruce up the channel, you know, some little effects in there, some, some applause and cheering and screams and whatever. I don't know. We'll see what we do on the stream. <laughs> and um, you also have the ability to to control your main output, which is this here. But this does not, you know, what's, what you guys hear on the stream, this button or this this fader is, is being bypassed. You know, that's just for hooking up monitors on the back. So to get a, a, a real a real glimpse of it, this is what it looks like. So like I said, I have my mic in one and then five and six is from my production computer. And this is the out, like I was just explaining. You have four different headphone outs, which is dope. That's that's pretty dope. And then the uh, 78 is what I have my computer connected to. So you guys can hear. And this is connected to the Ecamm. So this is how this, but I think that you can switch the inputs on here inside of the unit to, to pull sources from whatever. Cause you can also go 78 via this, this, um, mini, this mini jack here. And then you can utilize the network here. This is NDI, which Ecamm has that inside of it. So I'm very excited to try that and see how well that works. And then of course your SD, your card slot here and your USB A right here. And then the on and off switch, which is cool. It's kind of cool to have something that clicks on and off because that's what the unit that I have, it clicks on and off. Sometimes I forget to turn it off because there's not many LED lights on here saying that it's still on. You know what I mean? So I know when I'm done for the day, just switch that off because obviously there's a bunch of lights on it and yeah so that's what that is right there and 
There is uh, some other things I like about this. Off the top of my head, there is an easy mode. There's an expert, like a middle mode, and then there's an advanced mode. Obviously, I went for the advanced mode because I want to get in and dive in and set this thing up to how I need to set it up, right? The advanced mode, I believe, provides, or well, the pro mode, I forget what it is, but it provides the compressor. There's a compressor that in here for each channel. There's an EQ in here. There's a de That's pretty freaking awesome right there. And then, did I say EQ? And then if you want effects, there's reverb and delay in here if that's something you're into. At the moment, I'm not really concerned about that. But if I can just reach over and just tap this thing, I could do the best I can by just switching. So that's the effects. That is That happens to be the delay right here. And that is the reverb. I mean, basic stuff, you know, is there. This is where you put your samples, you load up your samples in here. I believe you do that by via the USB card connected on the back of here. You know, it would be nice that it, that, that there will is some type of like software that talks to it so i could just like on the computer just drag and drop wherever i want and then change settings you know since it's digital i feel like it can do that or maybe maybe i have not looked to see if there was a software i could download real quick so that i can have like an interface on my computer to 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 make those changes and whatnot i haven't seen anything the only thing i did was downloaded a firmware update so that you know it fixes any bugs that may, that may be happening but this is right here um this area right here i'm excited about this area right here because this is one of those things that i was looking for in something like this being able to have the option to have multi outputs on this thing is is very significant to me for a unit to be able to do that it provides just more opportunities to to do more with it that is something that i look forward to so right now currently while i am like using ecam to stream ecam also supports its own separate mic level or mic channel and it has another lane for com computer audio or system audio. And then there's a movie channel. So if you're playing something within Ecamm, like you throw some type of video that you want everybody to, to hear and see, like clean, there is a separate channel for that. And then there's an effects channel. So to me, that's very important because I want to be able to set up scenes where my mic is muted and the movie just plays or whatever and that's how i do things that's how i've been doing things so i had everything separate you know my mic was on one one line but i mean i could definitely achieve that in stereo if this thing is set to stereo which was what it was by default everything will come out of a, a line just one you know left and right and that's it it doesn't split or spit everything out it's just everything is stereo which is cool for simple setups but when you're doing different scenes where like you know you don't want your mic to be picked up where you have to kind of remember to hit the mute button or turn your mic down during those scenes and i do a lot of switching up like introduction there's a music that i have in here that plays with the whole graphics or whatever I don't want my mic to pick up while that's going going on. So that's why I like the multi out on this thing. And then the same for when you're going for just recording straight to disc. It's it's its own separate deal where you can switch it from stereo to, to mono. Um, the other thing that's cool about this, there's a button that supports post fade. 
if you're in multi outs, if you don't do that, then everything would be in pre fade, which is it works for it just depends on what you're trying to do. But I actually did a video that just kind of strips away or just kind of attack how I use this for ecam. So I dive a little bit deeper there. So far, I like it. Shout out to Z Zound that, that, that allow me to get my hands on this. I think I might keep it because it already eliminated two items. Two two items I was using in conjunction with each other down to one item and with more features. You know what I mean? Definitely way more features. I'm just thinking of things of, that I can do that would definitely put this thing in, you know, to work pretty much. I don't really care too much for the pads, but I kind of do. <laughs> I kind of do because I was thinking I have a program that I that I have that can play different effects, and, you know, at a, at a touch of a button, you know what I mean? Set up macros, whatever. I just never got into it. But I think to make the streams more fun and the fact that it's right there in front of me. Why not everybody else doing? Why not join the, the bandwagon, right? You know, make some when everybody, anybody join the stream, have that excitement going on, just hit a button, you know? And I might reposition this here. I was thinking to put it in front of me, but I have my push right here and my atom pad in front of me. I guess I could put it side by side and mix it right here, push right here just you know have better control of the stream but it's also kind of one of those set it to the side i know where my my faders are when i need to do you know certain things i'm not really fiddling with much over there when i'm creating live you know the other the other issue and this is before we end the this 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 video this podcast here the other thing i'm trying to figure out is the latency because when I was testing it, there was a little bit of lag happening. And so I am trying to find the best solution to kill that. And I'll say one thing about how I was set up before. There were no latency because everything was analog. It's straight. Like there is no, no pushback. When you connect, you connect it. You, you, you there. You're already, you're already, you there. With this digital stuff here, there's a lot of things that could be hindering that, you know, that immediate. So maybe I have to play with some delays, or, you know, I don't know, but we'll see. So that's just me being transparent. I try not to cover things I don't care about. I really like this unit so far. I've been playing with it all day, just figuring out different things. And, um, Stay tuned for more. We are using the Maggie DLZ Creator. And there are some other models, I, I believe, that they made. It's a, it's a smaller one. And, and it's, Maggie is doing the dang on thing here. All right. There's an affiliate link to this unit in the description. So if you guys like what you saw, you, are, you know, you had questions about it, you wanted to know my take on it, you know, and you... You feeling my take on it? Hit the affiliate link. And get it from Z Sounds. It took them like three days to get here, so it was not long at all. Decent shipping time. No complaints here. Ella, B Culture, Lifestyle Government Art. 